ever since I was a little kid, I've been fascinated with Alcatraz. I don't know why. To this day, it seems weird that a seven or eight year old would be interested in a prison, but I was. And this is pre-internet, so anything I wanted to learn about its past, including the Civil War history and about its infamous residents, I had to look up in a library. It felt like I was looking for buried treasure, looking at any story I could find about that famous prison. And of course, movies like Escape from Alcatraz, The Birdman of Alcatraz, and even The Rock didn't dissuade that interest. And much like the prisoners who saw San Francisco just off in the distance, being able to see and visit the prison myself felt like it was just out of reach. However, this past summer, when I had the opportunity to visit San Francisco and see Alcatraz for myself, I jumped at the chance. When you arrive, you're given an audio device with a set of headphones that allows you to take a self-guided audio tour of the prison. It's very well produced. It's got narration, sound effects, interviews with former guards and prisoners about what life was like on the island. And I couldn't help at one point pause the audio and take off my headphones. And I was astounded by how eerily quiet it was. Because, of course, no one was talking because everyone was listening to headphones. So much so that I couldn't help but record a video just to allow you to hear what I mean. There were many stories that I heard on the audio tour. Some I had heard before, some I didn't. But there was one story that hit me and made you really feel how punishing this prison was. Everyone comments on the fact that yes, it was only a few miles away from San Francisco and that you can see the Golden Gate Bridge and the city from the prison. And that's true, that is very true. And that is punishment in and of itself. But the one thing that I didn't know was that the prisoners sometimes at night would hear the sounds of the city. Everything from cars to people cheering, people laughing. Those sounds would echo towards the rock and the prisoners could hear it. It didn't happen often, but they said that it always happened every New Year's Eve. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more. And as always, I remain obediently yours.